She was a little bummed she didn't get out of the collar today. Yeah, it was a little bit. Before, if somebody had told me that this would have happened to me, I'm like, boy, I don't know if I could do it. But, I mean, I just woke up like this and everything's been good. I mean, I've only had one breakdown, but that's because I was reading about my surgery and the fact that I could have been quadriplegic or died, like, that freaked me out. Literally, the only thing that ever hurt was my pinky toe. It was broken and it was casted so funky. Like, it would wake me up. Like, I would wake up and that was what hurt so bad. I'm really, really blessed and so thankful. That I, that I do have that relationship with Christ and it's just been a thing since I was a kid and um, listening to Joel, I mean, no matter what, there's always a message that speaks um, truth to me and just and gives me, makes me feel better. Overall, she's pretty positive about everything. A couple days, but you sit around, you start thinking about it. Reading about the injury, not a good thing. I have um, C1 and C2 are fused, and then there's screws holding the bone graft and everything together. Like, it's kind of hard to explain, but they're long screws. They're like that long. And they, um, just because of where the bone graft is, they had to screw it in there just so it would fuse. He's done similar surgeries on like people that are in the military, and they go back to active duty, and so I was really optimistic. I just hope that maybe that's my mission in life, is just to spread the word and let people know that God is good. <laughs>